Hi, I'm Susie from Mount West Homestead. Uh, this is desert close to our house, so I'm coming out here hiking. This is my first hike out here in, two, in 2020. I'm getting ready to go out and hike in the brush by my old trails. And I got Blue with me, and Sunny is our new dog. And I'm hoping he'll stay close, but he took off that way. Hey, Blue! Whoa! You can't hear me. Come on. And, uh, hope Blue will be, I mean, hope uh, Sunny will be back pretty soon. He's going to have to learn that I'm slow and he needs to keep up with me and not take off. So he's out there somewhere. Bill's been out here different times. You can see uh, his tracks because uh, he follows the trail too. That the easiest way to get through this stuff. If you don't find a trail, uh, you might run in some, uh, some ditches and stuff. Ah, I hear Sunny. <laughs> there he is. He's got a bell. Yeah. All right. Good boy. I want him to get. Where uh, he's more protection on me. He hasn't learned the pack way yet, but he will. He's getting better at it. Our old dog, Blue, he's our trail dog. So he knows to stay around. But Sunny, if he sees a rabbit or coyote, off he goes. But he'll learn. So I'll put markers out here make sure uh, I know the right way because uh, on foot everything pretty well looks the same and I know to go this way so that's where I'm going and I see Bill's horse tracks and he's going that way too kind of looks like a a road right through there. So it's a nice clear spot. That's the way the trail goes. This stump here is another marker we go by. And just right down that way is Blue's water hole. But I don't think there's going to be any water. Um, but I'll, I'll go check. If, if, it, if there is, it's probably my mud hole. A lot of times you'll see Bill stopping here. Let the dogs have some water. When it rains, for some reason, it keeps water right down here for a long time. Sometimes it's covered up. Sometimes the water is dug out. There is a hole over there. Uh, it used to be real deep. And one day, it'll pour hard and it'll be a flood through here and dig it out deeper. Right now... It's pretty shallow. And Blue, he used to be able to jump up here. But uh, he's getting older now, so he can't jump. And I got trails across that way, too. I'm sure there's no water back there. Nope. So, we're going to head off. Keep going. We do see coyotes through here. Because this keeps water in it too. And wherever there's water, you're going to find coyotes running water hose. Uh, and the other one, it keeps water in it for a long time. I'll be going out that way where blue is. But I want to show you. I put pans out through here. So whenever I bring the dogs, they got water pans. I used to have this tied up with the rope, but something chewed the rope off. But uh, sitting up like that, if it rains, it will put get water in it, and other animals can drink out of it. So I see, I hear Sunny. Hey, so no, I'm not gonna give him water yet. Well, maybe he wants some water. I guess I will. Well, he's run so much. Some water. 
a little bit anyway. Is that all you want? You just want to drink it out of this. Okay. You've been running your legs off. Well, you want to up? I guess he must. And I will clean this up. <laughs> right over there is a place I call the point. And it goes down into the ditch. And uh, Bill, when he goes on that side lot, he'll go right through there. And uh, right down here, and I'm going to redig it. I could go down to the point and come back up. But right over there, the place I come up, I need to dig out some hand holds. So I'm climbing the ditch and come on this side. And I'll be doing that sometime. Because I, I like to come to the point sometimes and crawl right up here and go out this way. See how blue keeps the eye on me? That's how a trail dog does. Sonny's learning, but slowly. I want to show you something. I got a story to tell. You see these cross ties? Back where we live, Bill makes uh, waterways go into the uh, gardens and stuff and into the front yard. So we we had a whole bunch of these and they got washed out one day. These are ours and they got washed out here in the desert. I think I found about six of them. Don't have no way to get them home. If I had a four-wheeler, I'd drag them home. But uh, anyway, he had them for the waterways. But when we, 2006 or 2008, we had a hurricane flood that come through here. It hit the mountains, and then all this desert got washed. Uh, it just flooded. But it took our cross ties out, and they come down here. And some other stuff we have, they come down. So all this was underwater. It was a mess. You wouldn't think we'd get a hurricane, but it went down and uh, flooded the mountain area, all their canyons. It was pretty bad. But anyway, all that mountain water, it comes down to the desert. This used to be an old road through here. When we first moved here, you could tell it real good. And uh, the desert's grown up. Plus getting washed out. But it makes a good hike. I'm thinking about trying to give more shout outs to people. Help the channel grow. Maybe people go over there and look at my shout outs. This is a dump uh, tire they dumped in the ditch back by our house. A bunch of them they washed out here in the desert. Yep, that's cow tracks right there. Maybe they got cows in here. I wouldn't mind it. Open up the trails. So we got a well tank over here that was ours. We were saving it. And then we got two cross ties over there. And then right over there is another our water tank. It come down, floated down here from the well. Bill was going to cut them up, cut them out, and make a like a feed trough or something out of them. But that flood just took them all. We had other things we found out here that was ours, but. It's hard to get them up. You couldn't carry that stuff home. And then this ditch goes on. We found a couple in that ditch, stuck in the ditch. One down there by the fence line. Well, they got washed all over the place. Well, here's another one of them tires. And there's another one over there. It makes me mad. They dump them in that ditch. They get washed down here in the desert. 
and people think well they're gone now <laughs> they're still around they don't fade away I'm glad to see Sonny he goes off and then he comes back he's going to learn more and more when he starts walking with me um, stay closer especially when them coyotes around I want him to be close yeah, you see all the debris through here so I'm headed that way there's a little hill over there I like to go stand off and look that's kind of my praying hill I pray for people pray for people that died and all that look what happened sinkhole how'd that come about we don't know we've been riding through here for 20 years don't know what caused it but it sunk don't like it I hate think the ground collapse. There's another tire. And what's bad over there on the missile range fence, we we find four wheel tires dumped on the government side. So the government does it too. You think you could just walk in a straight line, but there's so many ditches that you had to cross. Uh, it's best to cross at the head of the ditch and that's right over here it does get pretty muddy right through here after the rain takes a while to dry out so I'll just cross right over there blue he knows the trail yep this is where I come pray for people and today well, I'm not good at prayers, but it's in my mind. I'm going to pray for Mountain Crest Farm. A while back, he had liver cancer. And he got better and come home. And he still has to have it checked. So when y'all go check him out, hope you get prayers. He's a good guy. And we need to keep him on this earth a little longer. This is my place where I come think about people, pray for them, and look, and look all. Yeah, there's Sunny. Here we are, Sunny. And I hope a bunch of people come over your way, take your channel out. And Bob is doing live streams, so you could go there and talk with him, and chat, and he, he's real be really be happy he come over there. So I hope y'all will go check him out. He, he lives in Georgia, and he, he has a bunch of pigs. So people interested in pigs, check him out. One time I was out here and there was probably about 50 orcs on the other side of that fence. And they seen us and they took off running. There's a lot of wildlife out here. And off this way, just down the hill a little bit, I found a uh, nest. Well, two uh, owls. They were small. The ground owls. They live in the ground. And uh, I thought that was interesting. They weren't very big at all. There's the mountain. So we we was up there in Rio Dosa, not yesterday, I guess. And uh, now I'm going to head back. 